Okay, I'm tiling now, so I've laid them all out, check it's all, all the right sort of size and shape, and I've started cutting them. So cutting these, these are 10 mil thick porcelain tiles. They're a lot harder than I thought they would be. So I started off trying to use big 230 mil angle grinder with a, an old diamond blade, but it seemed to make all sorts of chipping sort of mess. Then I tried just using a very sort of basic tile cutter where you sort of score it and then snap it. That didn't seem to work. I was looking at other tools I could buy and then luckily I got a friend who's a tiler. So he came to give me a bit of advice. I just thought I'd just show you how I'm now easily cutting tiles. So uh, what I want to create is half tiles. So get one of these hexagonal ones and I want to go from point to point in this instance. So I'm going to scour it once, pressing hard. I'll just show you that. So this in, line it up and I'm going to go point to point. So you line up your little cutting wheel, put quite a lot of pressure on it and just do it once. So you can hear it's cutting. And scour across it once. Okay. One little scour across there. And then this is, well I think it's genius. Offer it up to yourself, point to point, coming against you this way. Hold it quite tight, get a hammer. I'm using a claw hammer here. Two gentle taps. And there we go. Perfect cut. Absolutely spot on. If it was a bit, uh, there was like a bit of a notch on one side or a little lump in the backing, I've just been using a 115mm diamond angle grinder just to neaten up the underside edge um but yeah i'm really pleased with that and i'm also cutting same manner to do these little pieces same thing just scour it once put it against me tap it with a hammer uh, so now i've laid out enough for a first batch of our mix and i'm using uh Kerafix, uh flexible outdoor adhesive so this is freezeable it will survive outside in any weather and then i'm using latex plus so I'm using 5 kg of this with 1.5 kg of that using a SDS drill with a mixing paddle. Um, and I'll be bedding these probably on about six to eight mil um, so that they're flush with my, my plastic edging. Um, so yeah, I'll keep in the loop. <laughs> 